Ignatius487 here, welcome back to the Rogue Campaign D&D 5.0. We haven't left the bar. We haven't left Actually, the bar Actually, no, I just jumped no. out the window. Yeah. <laughs> I just jumped we out the left. window. Let me rephrase that. Half of us have left the bar. Now, <laughs> this is interesting because... Reasons. In the last session... Two of them. Two of them failed their acrobatic rolls and fell into the water. One landing on top of the other because of a bad significant roll and uh, knocking the other one out because he only had one hit point left. One. That said, we will now continue. Now, uh, he's ringing the bell. He's freaking out. This is where Warren Douche is turned. He is ringing the, the shit out of that bell. He reached out of the bell. He sort of still ringing it, and then he looks at his hands while he's ringing it, and notices that his, some of his rings are missing. And then he like freaks out freaks more. Freaks out a little bit. Starts patting himself down. His aim has gone. His gold pouch is gone. He is so mad. He doesn't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> like, when did I? What is going what? on? When? What? How? Really? <laughs> oh my gosh! Ah, he's freaking out. And the guards come up. I'm not going to bother putting them up, but there's a lot. Yeah, the, there's enough to win. There's enough that there would be no problem taking out, or at least subduing... Anything. ...the, the two uh, the two presently injured rogues. Uh, and they, they sort of rush up. You hear shouting. You hear, uh, well, Lilith hears shouting. Eagles uh, Out. asleep in the water, which... You don't need to deal with that uh, now, actually. Lilith's turn. All right, Lilith's turn. How much does Eagle weigh, by the way? All right, so I mean, he's a dwarf. Granted, in water, he's not as heavy. Not and at all. You're strong enough to keep his head above water, so he doesn't drown. But he uh, is a dwarf. I was going to say that together, their average height is like almost maybe six feet, or not quite. But um, I never wrote down his weight. He has. Wait, a, how tall is your dwarf? Short. Oh, I, was, I, was, I thought you said something about six feet. No, the tiefling oh. and the dwarf together, the average height might be about six feet. Anyway. Damn, how the, tall is Never mind. The tieflings is hot lady, alright? Yeah, but for it to average out to six would mean that she has to be like eight feet tall. Alright. Maybe. I'm just, I'm just saying. Maybe. It's, it's whatever. I'm just saying. It's five, six. Anyway, so like this tiefling, feet. who's not Average drunk, is going to grab this dwarf, who is drunk, and knock the fuck out, and drag him towards the edge. The edge from her is one, two squares are, away. Are you going to move, like, to the edge that's still out, out, out in the open? One, what's the name two. Of the huh? Name of the river? This is Sarta, Sarta. River. Sarta. Huh? Sarta. Sarta. Sarta River. Yeah, there's no case. The Sarta River. Two in that direction, just towards the embankment, so that she can grab the edge right. and hold him above the edge there. Because it's it's only three feet. Your arm can grab that. Yes. And I agree. You're gonna grab right there. She's just dragging him to the edge this way. That was one, two squares this way, and she's gonna try and move this way, and that's about it. Start working your way that way. Yes. Okay. Until you get to where? Until I get to as far as I can make it. Like I was, I was just like, it's like, oh, well, we fell out of this window. You're we're gonna, gonna go this stay way. Along the we move to this the, square. Okay. No, that's then to fine. the square. In fact, that's where the wall is. What we're gonna do and is in the combat there because under there, you're pretty much safe, and like you wait there for a little while. Yeah. And then you're able Say, to say so. No. One, two. Three, four, size five, six. Like river. This is where river. I would be. Basically. Is this the Ohio River? Is this the Mississippi River? Oh. Is this the Amazon oh. River? It is. It's a pretty big river. It's the Ohio River. So, there's oh, some no. fish that That's might far. be six know. feet long at the most. Mean of comparison, but no, seriously, along the bank like this, not much is going to be here. Three feet deep. No, I'm not talking about that. It's not the point. Yeah, so you're good. You're safe. Six squares is right here. So you drag him. Holding onto the edge. I move to edge. here and then along the yeah. edge. Do you have any means of healing him? 
Now, he can heal himself once he regains consciousness by spending a hit dice, which we'll get to that in a minute. Um, we didn't do anything for the backpack that this two are carrying. Does it say backpack? Any kind of backpack? Can I not write that down? No. Okay, fine. Well, the standard carry along with that rope and um, stuff. Anyway, yeah, so... We need to do that. She... Time. Yeah, no shit. No that. shit. She grabbed on the wall, moved down this way, and grabbed her little health potion out of the back. You don't have a health potion. Is it a small one, no? They, they cost 50 gold. I doubt you Yeah. It. No shit. No, like... Maybe she can, has a little look, bit of mead in her pocket. You can uh, have... We'll say that, like, an hour passes... Okay. It settles down. And he gives him one hit point. You can get out. He recovers from his subdual damage. If he's conscious enough, you guys can both heal. The way you do that is, is a rest. With hit dice. No, with a okay. short rest. Okay, yeah. Uh, you have one hit dice because you're level one. So what you do is you roll that hit dice, and you add what you roll plus your constitution modifier, which is the same way that you determine the actual number of hit points that you get. For level, you know. Charisma. Constitution. Constitution. Plus a roll of nothing. Which okay for rogue was it D it's a D eight for rogue. It's a D eight. Okay. A D eight. Yes. One D eight. Plus constitution. Mm -hmm. So roll for Egil first. Seven. Plus, plus five. No. It's no. a two. Have a 20. Okay. It's a nine total. Okay. So he gains nine hit points. Ooh, nice. That's back to full health. There you go. Alright, so whatever damage you're down. Um, and now Lilith. for Lilith. Three plus twelve is one. Uh, right. So four. So you get quite a bit of those back, and that's great. Yeah. And plus four. And you have no idea where Cain. No, I I just like we're underneath the bar. And because they have the scroll, no idea what's going on. You have no idea. Are, are you guys just going to leave them behind? Of course they are. We, in the heat of the night... Fucked up. ...got lost at the bar. They left right. the bar. Completely we're like, up. we don't want to hang out at the bar all night. No. They were at the bar. Great. They're going to have a good night at the bar and things. Yeah. But um, we're going home. They go home. These two are underneath well, the bar in the water. Actually, here's With the thing. Nine. When you when you take the time to open the scroll and read it, shipment is happening uh, at like dawn. The following night. Oh, or the following the night. Following evening, rather. Twenty-four like, it's hours. Still, it's still nice. Late, but you have some time before the shipment actually comes in and has moved where it's supposed to go. Okay. Which actually gives you a few options, which we'll talk about now, and then we'll end it, and I can plan according to what decision you guys make. Okay, so the item in question, which is a chest containing things that I don't know yet because I haven't made it up, uh, is arriving via ship. I should roll a 20. Lovely. Not <laughs> relevant. Arbitrary! Um, good for you! Sorry. Um, it's arriving... I don't want to do it. It will arrive by wagon, actually. It's being shipped over land uh, into the city. And will be delivered into the merchant district to... 
Gallier's uh, house slash uh, storage area, this building, somewhere in his house. You don't actually know exactly where it is in the house. You just know that it's going there. You also know that it will be guarded. The wagon itself will be guarded as it moves both outside of the town and through the town to the guess it's to its destination. Which it doesn't specify how many guards there will be. Just that it will be guarded. It'll be guarded. You don't know heavily, lightly, right. word so, guarded. The thing that you have to think about is do you want to ambush them along the way? Do you want to, to sabotage wait, the cart? Wait, you can sabotage the cart. That's an interesting. I never even thought about doing that. It's a very interesting uh, concept, which would slow them down considerably so you could find other uh, means of, of, of acquisition. There's. You can just wait for them to deliver to the house and then break into the house. The target. The delivery point. Or even not not wait to, for them to deliver it but be there waiting at the house find a way to infiltrate the place before it, it be actually gets there the don't even get, accept this is true don't even give the them gift. the chance to unload it so are you guys eventually hijack the we don't know wagon so you guys are going to wait for them you're going to I feel I feel that uh at least for my characters, uh, trying to stage a an ambush of sorts, is like no. highwaymen on the road, not their style. Is no. And that's fine. It's just an option. You don't have to do that. I'm just throwing it out. Great. So, I guess the question then is... Do you infiltrate before or after they deliver the package? Well, I think that they would be expecting it less beforehand. Absolutely. Like um, once, I feel like once the valuable stuff's there, they're gonna be more alert and more trying to get it there. Like as opposed to be like everyone's like in anticipation of like trying to get it there. Right. All right. So might be easier to infiltrate. My answer to that is, depending on the situation in which they are arriving, which this could be done on the fly quite easily, is Israel and Lilith could be ready to attack and distract while some other people stuck in the back. Who knows? I can rhyme like a cat. Anyway, these this is a possibility. Or, on the other side, we could wait to sabotage this cart, find out if we're if we're sharp enough to catch ahead and sabotage this cart beforehand, that might make that okay. easier. If we know where they're gonna land, we could right. we could set up this warehouse. Well, you know what direction that the wagon's coming from, you know what gate it's gonna come in and through you, you know what gate it's coming in through reasonable deductive reasoning you can figure out the route it's gonna take. Again. You think you know where it's going to. Yes. The issue here is you have to get to a consensus. Yes. You guys are all about combat. I know. So they are all about stealth. None of this is relevant anymore. No. Um. So you're done there. Yeah, I know. So yeah. we know where it's coming into the city. Yes. A gate on the edge of Sartak City. Right. And we have an idea of what building is going to, or we know we, what building. We know. Well, you can figure out where the building is that they're going to. On the process. Like, you could stay ahead far enough yeah. to know what building it yeah, is. Yeah. So, well, like, you can just go to a, a more complete map and, and track it down. That's what I'm saying. They have the address. You have the address. Uh, I know the address. It's, it's, it's I know where they're coming in. I know where they're stopping. Yeah. Okay. And you can't use your cell phone. I know I can't use my fucking cell phone. I don't have a damn cell phone. <laughs> Just saying. I got a knife. I got a deck of cards with one and a pair of die with the other. All right. Um, Decision time, brothers. It's getting so, late. I kind of want to go to sleep. Oh. Or have some. Well, then, pause time. 
No, like we have. So I would say, no, to my answer that, my answer to that is, um, all right, what kind of distance are they taking across this? Sartex Star is a big place. I know Sartex is a damn big place. It's gonna be a trek, or it's several miles. To several get miles from the outer gate to their spot to where they're trying. Now, is the spot they're trying to go, like, in the center of this district, or is it on the edge of this district, or is it, like, just in the part they enter into? Several miles into I'm this gate, saying, it is it is in the center of this district over here, or it could be on the edge of it, into the, the next one? Of, of the district, yeah, because of, he's not really wealthy, he's just sort of... Of, wealthy. what is this? The merchant district. The merchant. So, they're like coming the in, the housing. merchant... Yeah. In district gate, they're moving to the edge. What is Caddy Cornered? we next to. Is that the uh, thieves you, district? So you're gonna go and I, scout. No, I just want to know. You're gonna go out and scout. Where are they going to? Sure, I guess. I don't know. I mean, you have a day essentially. This, this girl, Lilith, she knows the fucking way around this city. Cat Corner. What do you mean? I don't. I don't. Understand. You know what Caddy Corner means? I know what. I know what category means. So, category all right. what? From what? What are you talking about? We'll draw a damn picture. So, they're coming in this gate. I'm not. That, I'm into not. the merchant district. You said they're going to the edge. Is this no. edge near anything else? What is that else? It's the far edge. So, they're passing all the way through the merchant district. Yeah, I got that part. Over here is something. Over here is something. Over here is something. Oh, or is there like only one right. thing? Each district is walled. Yes. So as to protect the city. Like there's walls all over the place. What you're asking What me is, is next to the merchant the district? Districts? What is the adjacent to merchant district? Merchant districts in between the inner di like the inner city the wealthy district and the There's only three there are three rings, right? There there are three rings. The three rings ring are the cities. Is right. the city. But there's segments of so the wall. So, three rings ring. make so the city. The, the outermost ring, ring the outermost ring is, is the like, merchant. No. Oh. The outermost ring is like the the, the or, worker. The, the workers. Working class. Or like working sort of class folks. So like blue find, like, color your and all and like all your Right. Is yeah. the first ring. So they make it to the second ring. Second ring is... Second ring is wealthier. But that's where um, Merchant District is. In, in that's, yeah, where it's, that's where the Merchant Merkenthal. District is. It's where... Uh, On the left and the right of Merchant the, District. It's, it's where the Mages District is. Actually, no. I'm mistaken. The Mages, Mages are rich assholes. Anyway, the, left and the right of the Merchant District has... Is there something on both sides, or is there only one other? On, in that ring. Trying to get Lilith. No, no I, Lilith knows. This I city. will uh, figure that out. <sighs> Seriously, Sartex City has changed a lot. I know it's a big ass years. city. It's a big ass city. Um, so let me get back to you on that. So, and but that's not my point. Are you going to ambush? Or are you going to stealth as rogues? I just want to disappear at this point. Um, Great, but I'm, I'm I would glad, love I'm glad to. That you learn from your previous mistake. I would love to observe, but there's no stepping forward. They are in the shadows. They are not seen. They are hidden. They are noticing quite a bit. If cool they know, if, first off, if they know where they're going to, they're pretty close to where they're going to. You're not answering my question. Okay. Your question is. My question is. What? Are you going to do ambush or ambush or infiltrate? And there are many ways to infiltrate. All right, so these two. I vote for infiltrate. Yeah, these two are Both infiltrating. Of your okay, infiltrate's great. So four, four are infiltrating. Now think yeah. about over over. I don't know when we're going to play this again. Like as far as the road campaign goes, it just depends on work schedule and other shit. Um, think about. How you want to do that? Do you want to just sneak in through windows? Do you want to somehow track down? Now, I want um, to butler clothes. I was gonna say I was thinking about disguise kit. I was gonna to, say uh, of sorts. 
My first answer for Lilith is scope out the place. No, sorry, backwards. Egil, he's the one who wants to look at things. Egil wants to scope out the place, see what it is, what is expected of that place, and mm -hmm. what he would be doing there naturally. Then right. Lilith wants to see... She just wants to get her face in their face, even if that may be a severe disadvantage. She wants to see uh, what the building right. is, who yeah, would be there. Sucks. She has his history as well. Um, she well, wants to know good. what this place is associated with, maybe what happened 200 years ago in this same building. She just she wants to know everything about this spot. But Ijo um, on the opposite hand wants to know... Alright, cool. Um, I'll think of something. Anyway, History. yeah. Th well, that's what I was asking. Where are they no, starting? I, where are they I'm going just, to? I'll just make shit up. I know. Time, that's fine. I, but I have no issues with that. Edril's main point That'll is... That'll be good, because it'll force me to, to develop some some history. And that's good. I like it. That's he great. wants to know what this building is. What can he see? What does he expect? What is great. expected? We'll get to that next time. This play. guy. And Rosy Cat. <laughs> the princess and the prince. Whatever. Now, um, any particular questions? I already got yours. Yep. That Kane or yep. Shadow need. Now, obviously. Uh, and we've already communicated this to you. You know what we were mentioning about okay. this. This is in the future, and we kind of like, hey. They um, probably lost a little respect. For you oh yeah, no, they think because, we're two fucking idiots. Obviously, yeah. we're too rowdy. Chaotic idiots. Chaotic idiots. All right. Uh, good, 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 good. Well played, guys. Well, mostly. <laughs> I wouldn't say well played, but I survived. I had a blast. <laughs> you had a blast. No, That's damn no, right. No. That's what I'm all about. You're missing the one. The one, number six. Oh, I know, it's weird. There it is. I was like, how? Oh. So, Kane's rogues were super... Oh, actually, Kane. Corey's rogues were... Uh, ready. They were rogue -like. Ready and very good rogues. Mine were drunk uh, assholes. Eli, is, this is Eli's first time ever playing Dungeons and Dragons. So, he doesn't really know how to play rogues yet. Nope. Uh, but that's okay. We'll get in there. It takes but time. it was a tiefling and I've, a dwarf. I've, that's the first thing I ever rolled and played. I'm very. I, I know my rogue. That's why we have a rogue campaign because I like. Because rogues. science. I, I I I love rogues. I'm pro rogue, so I'm a rogue myself, as it were. Uh, all right, and that actually is pretty good on our closing time. So fantastic. Well, guys, this is a good session. This is part nine, I think, of this session, which is amazing. I hope we get a lot of views. I hope you guys enjoy listening to it. And if I screwed up any rules, I'm the Dungeon Master, so I win but with respect to that. Anyway. Yay, house ruled! Uh, no worries. But if I did screw up something terribly, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, subscribe and all that jazz. Till then. Until then, we'll see you next time in Balmetuna.